is up you guys welcome back to another one if you were new to this channel i'm gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we're in the brand new 2023 volvo c40 recharge courtesy of volvo cars of hagerstown in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we are in this one today because there's actually new trim levels for the 2023 c40 not only that this thing has a vegan friendly interior with a bunch of fun interior colors like the one we have today so also of course this being an all-electric vehicle so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering feel ride quality sound system all that fun stuff so having said all that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing so as i alluded to there are some new trim levels for the 2023 model year as volvo has been doing with their other models as well first one being core starting at fifty six thousand three hundred and fifteen dollars plus for fifty seven thousand nine hundred and forty five dollars and lastly ultimate which is the one we have today starting at sixty one thousand one hundred and ninety five dollars but regardless of which trim level that you go with the power plant so to speak is going to be the same of course powering the c40 is going to be dual electric motors one in the front one in the back 402 horsepower 487 pound feet of torque sent to all four wheels yes all wheel drive does come standard of course zero to 60 time approximately 4.5 seconds we're going to be giving that a shot later in this video here top speed if you were interested 112 miles per hour with a range coming in at 226 miles and so before we get into that acceleration i wanted to mention the warranty real quick since this is a full electric vehicle first off you get volvo standard warranty which is four years fifty thousand miles bumper to bumper but when it comes to that battery component warranty it's actually warranted for eight years or one hundred thousand miles so little peace of mind there for you and you actually also get three years or thirty six thousand miles of complimentary maintenance to go along with all of that so now have we got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find straight away let's put the c40 recharge here to the test and let's see what zero to sixty and four point five seconds really feels like all right you guys we are at a light so here we go ug ug <laughs> oh yeah that's nice <laughs> this thing is so stupid quick <laughs> That was fun, man. I mean, I know on camera it doesn't really come off as being very quick because you can't hear the engine sound because there isn't that internal combustion engine that is ever to come off on camera. But let me just take my word for it, man. This thing is ridiculously quick. You can feel it in the pit of your stomach. Electric accelerations are so much different than just gasoline powered engines because it's instant torque. It's like a roller coaster. It just launches you straight off the bat. You don't have to wind up the RPMs to get the max power. It's just there from the get go. So absolutely wonderful acceleration on the C40. You guys gotta experience it for yourself. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So as expected, we'll of course find four wheel ventilated disc brakes. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, it's actually going to come in at a respectable 125 feet. I've seen SUVs come in in as high as 139 feet. Some are in the one teen. So 125 feet is perfectly on par for the course, I guess you could say. So as far as braking feel goes, it's actually a lot better than most other electric SUVs and electric cars that I've tested out. Sometimes with electric cars, you have this very weird braking feel. It's almost super soft at first, and then the brakes finally bite. That's not the case with this one. Volvo did a pretty good job of creating a firmer braking feel than I'm typically used to in electric vehicles. So I'll just put it that way. Then touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna get a McPherson strut front suspension, in the back independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars, and hydraulic shock absorbers, of course, as well. As far as ride quality goes, as we are cruising on some very smooth roads right now, it's been perfectly fine, so definitely no issues there. One of my favorite parts though, the steering feel. It's definitely weighted on the heavier side of things when it comes to that steering feel, so it instantly points you in the direction that you got with that. Bleh, that you want to go it's not a soft steering feel at all so that is one thing i absolutely love and tesla does that too to be fair they have a very heavy steering feel as well it makes it more playful more fun to drive i guess you could say as far as cabin noise goes this is a perfect test right now we're going 55 miles per hour 55 stay loud and there's maybe a slight bit of road noise that maybe i'm just hearing now because there's no engine noise that kind of drowns that out but honestly as I said at the very beginning of this video, this is a very quiet vehicle. Volvo did a wonderful job with insulating the cabin on this thing. Touching on visibility, I think everyone knows what you're going to get here. Because of that sloped tail end there, visibility is not going to be as good as, let's say, an XC40. 
but uh, I would imagine it would be something that you get used to. Typically when I ask Nissan 370Z owners how's the rear visibility knowing that it completely sucks, they usually say it's something that you get used to. So I would imagine that would be a similar case here in the C40. So it's not the best. If you wanted better visibility, go XC40. But having said that, I love the shape of this one and it might be worth it just on the style points alone. But anyways, rain sensing windshield wipers coming standard on this thing as well. So that's gonna assist with forward visibility there as well but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 volvo c40 recharge all right so here she is you guys the new 2023 volvo c40 recharge finished in thunder gray metallic in case anybody was curious of our exterior color that we had on this one here today as always let's go ahead and start up front on the c40 here body colored front grille if you want to even call it that of course with electric cars they don't really need front grills anyways, but that is what you're looking at anyways. To the sides, LED headlights with Thor's hammered daytime running lights in typical Volvo fashion. They always look good. And you actually get high pressure cleaning for those headlights. That is what you are looking at right there. That's what that little cutout is for. That's only for the ultimate trim level. So I did want to emphasize that, but that is pretty darn cool. But anyways, automatic feature, of course, coming with those headlights, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, headlights are gonna turn on automatically for you there, but also, Automatic high beams, meaning when you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna automatically bump them back up to high beams. So that's a pretty cool feature there. And if you were to go with the plus trim level and up, plus or ultimate, I should say, you will also get LED fog lights with the cornering function. You guys can see there's LED fog lights down below there. Cornering function, meaning when you're going around the bend at night, those fog lights are going to actually swivel based on the direction of your steering angle, better help illuminating what is around that bend so you're less likely to hit an animal or a cyclist or something like that. So that is pretty darn cool and a safety feature in itself. But anyways, that pretty much rounds out the front end though. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the C40. All right, so here's what Thunder Gray Metallic looks like with the sun hitting it. So pretty darn cool. But anyways, black window surrounds do come standard. They are gloss black as opposed to the matte black window surround. So I do want to emphasize that. Gloss black roof as well. That is pretty cool. And that goes with the panoramic sunroof. And I'll show that to you guys when we get to the interior, of course. Rear privacy glass coming standard when it comes to the side mirrors. Gloss black power adjustable side mirrors do come standard. They will be heated with LED integrated turn signals, of course. Course. looking towards the bottom there there are matte black side skirts and matte black fender surrounds also if you're curious about that charging port that is going to be on the driver's side of course but that is near the driver's side tail light I guess you could say towards the back there and take a look at the wheel configuration it's actually going to be same across the board for all trim levels that's going to be a 20 inch five spoke design diamond cut alloys is what's going to come standard there so pretty darn cool but anyways that pretty much rounds out the side profile of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right so but now since we are around to the back there you do have that gloss black shark fin antenna all the way to the top but also dual spoilers dual rear spoilers you guys can see the uh, upper one towards the upper portion of the glass there and then at the very bottom you also get another little rear spoiler both of them finished in gloss black but looks pretty darn good back there got the volvo lettering spelled out horizontally of course that little rectangular badge on the right there that's going to save recharge twin just means it has dual electric motors of course got led taillights led c-shaped taillights that come standard across the board as well and then typically i'll do an exhaust clip but of course with this being an electric vehicle there is no exhaust outlet so shouldn't really have to say that but i'm gonna just in case anybody was curious but anyways let's now go ahead and make our way to the inside of the c40 all right so but now since we are around to the back of the c40 when it comes to opening that rear tailgate a power tailgate does come standard for all trim levels across the board and it's actually also a hands-free power tailgate meaning the vehicle is locked to simply kick your foot underneath of the uh, bottom portion of kind of the driver's side in the back there and it's going to automatically open up for you if your hands are full with groceries or kids or whatever the case so definitely a very convenient feature there but once opened up cargo capacity comes in at 14.6 cubic feet with those rear seats up with the rear seats then folded down it's going to bump that up to 42.6 cubic feet there are stainless steel scuff plates in the cargo area there is some cargo lighting back there there's grocery bag hooks there is a removable floor with grocery bag hooks yet again this is something i've seen on other volvos but i don't think i've seen it on any other manufacturer the cargo floor essentially kind of folds up if you wanted it to and then you have grocery bag hooks there if you needed some extra grocery bag hooks but underneath of that cargo floor you actually have some in-floor storage there as well which is pretty cool tie down anchors do come standard back there of course there is a rear cargo cover then 
as well. So a good bit going on in the cargo area, but then making our way up to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 36.1 inches. For reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I had in that uh, rear seat legroom there. Rear ventilation does come standard, of course. There is a rear center armrest with cup holders, also coming standard. It's gonna be two phone charging ports back there and heated rear seats if you were to go with the ultimate trim level that we have today. I love spoiling the rear passengers, that's pretty cool. Power folding rear headrests also only with the ultimate trim level as well. So that is pretty cool. But then making our way up to the front seats, power adjustable front seats with power lumbar coming standard, manual cushion extensions, they are there for you as well. Heated front seats coming standard. There is a suede slash synthetic seat combination because everything is renewable here in the C40 Recharge. It's renewable wool fiber. There's no leather in this thing whatsoever. So like I said, a very vegan interior. So wanted to emphasize that. Flag is Sweden, of course can be found on the passenger seat in typical Volvo fashion. Overall seats were 100% perfectly comfortable. That lumbar adjustment definitely did the trick for me. It's plenty adjustable there. So seat comfort was definitely on point. But then taking a look at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping. It is non leather wrapped because it's kind of like a, I don't even know how to describe it. You could tell it's not leather, but you can also tell it's not leatherette either. It's kind of like a I don't know, a synthetic type of material. I don't know what to call it, but it is heated for the ultimate trim level. I did want to mention that. The 10 and 2 grips are pretty beefy too, so I like that. Then make your way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Volvo logo on the one side, but essentially all of your buttons are going to be located on the side of the key. It is keyless entry with no push button start because you simply just sit down in the thing with the key in the vehicle and it's going to automatically start up for you. That's just the way it is. You just shift into drive. I'll put it that way and then you can start driving. So no push button start there. And if you wanted a remote start, there's a Volvo Cars app for that. If you really wanted that remote start, just simply download the app on your smartphone. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the gauges here. It is a 12 inch digital gauge cluster. Volvo always does their digital gauges very nicely and it's all integrated of course with google maps which is the very best mapping system in existence in my personal opinion you got your speedometer all the way to your left tachometer is on your right and again you can actually choose to display the navigation front and center if you wanted to go that route so that is pretty darn cool as well and of course at the very bottom of the screen you're actually going to find what the percentage of charge you have left in the vehicle so that's going to be important little statistic to keep an eye on there so love the gauges in this thing but now let's go ahead and take a look at overall interior quality and let me start with this amazing panoramic moonroof that we have that comes standard on every single trim level by the way it is gigantic and is not dual pane so it's not two piece it's one single piece and it's absolutely amazing it goes all the way into the back there synthetic material on the headliner it's another thing that i always like to emphasize in these because again it's not cloth it's not leather it's not suede it's kind of like this cool texturized feeling to i don't know how to describe it but it's pretty darn cool i'll show it to you guys here nice design above the passenger side glove box as well i thought that was pretty cool and that ties in together on the doors then as well there there is also a removable trash bin right in front of the center armrest i always like to emphasize that because in suvs sometimes you got kids in suvs and sometimes you got trash and it's a removable trash bin so that is pretty darn cool also passenger side glove box here there's actually a little hook that can be hidden inside the glove box or you could leave it out if you wanted to maybe hang a bag off of that glove box there so that is pretty darn cool again another feature you don't usually see on other cars out there or suvs in this case there are some aluminum recharge door sills always very nice wireless phone charger just in front of the shifter of course there is a frameless rear view mirror with home link controls for up to three different garage doors found on the plus and ultimate trim levels and of course you have the availability of this amazing blue interior which really is a throwback if you guys remember volvos from the 80s they always had these bright blue interiors like we have in our c40 recharge here today so i absolutely love it and again the material is kind of very soft and nice so that's how i'm going to describe it it's soft and nice <laughs> anyways just to the right of the shifter you have dual cup holders within the center armrest there is a decent amount of storage and again interior quality is done very 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 well in this thing but now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen here you got a vertical nine inch color touchscreen display it has the hey google functionality so if i were to say that you can direct google what to actually do so that is pretty cool 
Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well. You got your climate control settings you can find up there along with your heated seat buttons and your heated steering wheel buttons. All of that is found within the infotainment screen there. Of course, your radio information as well. And so when it comes to the sound systems, there's two of them. Eight speakers is going to come standard and that's going to be for the core and the plus. But if you were to go with ultimate that we have today, you're going to get a 13 speaker Harman Kardon sound system with 600 watts. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one. <music> Nothing like some EDM at 8 a.m. in the morning. That was plenty of bass. The bass is really what surprised me the most. That is a ton of bass. I don't know if my camera was rumbling or not, but that was a ton of bass. Clarity was on point as well, of course. That was an amazing sound system, I'll put it that way, for the C40 without a doubt. But anyways, last thing I want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the C40 in reverse, you will, of course, find an extremely high-definition rear-view camera that comes standard. There's also a 360 button in the middle that's going to give you that bird's eye view along with a ton of other views if you wanted it as well, to the front, to the left, to the right, to the back, whatever you want to do but that is always is going to lead us into safety and so as expected the c40 recharge is an iihs top safety pick plus in typical volvo fashion that's what volvo is known for they're known for safety in every single one of their vehicles is that which is the very highest rating given by ihs so that pretty much says it all right there but front side side curtain airbags do come standard you also get a driver's knee airbag as well in the back you're gonna have latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard lane keep assist oncoming lane mitigation road sign assist where it's going to detect the speed limit of any given road park assist blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert adaptive cruise control and pilot assist then as well and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts this thing is stupid quick extremely fun acceleration and i feel like almost almost every single electric car that i've driven has had that ridiculous acceleration because of the instant torque it just launches you there is no delay when you initially hit the gas it just sends it so i absolutely love that great design to this one in typical volvo fashion the very best safety available today so you gotta love that as well i love the fun blue interior i gotta say that that is pretty darn cool and really the only constructive criticism I could think of for this one is the driving range is kind of below average for electric vehicles right now. So what I would say is if you don't plan on driving this thing more than 226 miles a day, you're probably good to go. But of course you could charge it at various charging stations. But I think most people were probably just gonna charge it at their home overnight. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the C40 recharge in the comment section below. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button. If you're into new car reviews, that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold